The phrase, tell me about yourself, might seem like a simple question, but it's actually the most frustrating and stressful question you can get from a client. And that's because I think a lot of people miss the point of this question. So if you, like most VAs who are pitching clients, are dreading this question, these next three tips are for you. So the reason this question is so misleading is because your clients don't actually want to know about you. They don't care where you're from. They don't care where you grew up. They don't care if you have kids. This is probably the hardest pill to swallow, but this question isn't really about you at all. The question is really asking, tell me what about yourself will benefit me if I hire you. Now I want you to remember that because if you're already this far in the process and you're speaking to a client on the phone or on a Zoom link, chances are you've already passed the first phase, which is they understand your rates. They understand what services. Maybe you've been emailing back and forth a little bit. You've already passed that. They don't want a reiteration of, of tell me about yourself, tell me about what you offer, who you are, what you do. What they really want to know is why and how you're a good fit for them. So when you hear the question, tell me about yourself, what I actually want you to ask yourself is, in addition to what's already on your resume or the information that you've already presented to them, what information can I share that makes it more obvious that I am the right choice for them? If there's one thing you take away from this video, it's that you should always be reiterating how and why you're the best candidate for this client. Similarly, the next time a client asks me, tell me about yourself, I don't want you to talk about your exes. An interview with clients is a lot like a first date. You would never spend your first date talking about your exes. Or if that's something you've done before, I need you to stop doing that right now. With that in mind, don't spend the bulk of your time talking about other clients or ex-clients. The star of the show in this call is you. So I want you to focus on the qualities and experiences that highlight why you're the best asset as a virtual assistant for them. I want you to ask yourself, thanks to my past experiences, what skills have I developed that show that I'm the best VA for this client? Last tip here, when you hear the question, tell me about yourself. I want you to remember concise is nice. For the love of all things good, do not reiterate your resume or your LinkedIn profile or the email that you've already sent to them. This question is your chance to supplement the emails of your rates and your skills and your hours of operation. This is a way to kind of showcase who you are in addition to what you've already sent to them. Trust me when I say that one strategic and concise minute is far better than five minutes of you rambling about all your skills and what you've done in the past and what you could do for them. Mm -mm. You're going to keep it concise and you're going to ask yourself what qualities that you've already emailed or shared with them best illustrate how you are the best VA. So the next time somebody asks you, Hey, tell me about yourself. I really don't want you to go into your diatribe of, well, I'm from New York and I live here and I have a dog and like all, all that's great. And your client will get a better chance to know you when you're working together. But this is not the time to share that. Understand what the question's really asking you. Don't talk about your exes and concise is always nice.